still with me. You've watched those two videos of me waffling in part one and part two. So let's take hello two and make a hello three. I'm gonna copy it to a hello three. And now we're gonna make this free format. So we're gonna type in free basic RPG hello world gubbins. What will this look like? We'll do a two to edit. With the original iteration of free format, IBM decided that when you wanted to add free format code to an RPG program, you had to insert the word forward slash free in the comment position. So you'd have to type free to show that it was some free format code. And when you finished doing your free format code, you would do end dash free. And my free format code would live in here. So I could type something like display hello world free. And then I have to end every line of code with a semicolon. If I forget, it just highlights it. Down the bottom, an operand was expected but was not found. So let me just put my little semicolon at the end there. And then I want to end the program. So just like before, I'll just type in return. So now I can get rid of the C specs. Here's a quick note for you. Even in modern proper fully format free that we write nowadays, this is code from 20 years ago. Um, now we no longer have to say free or end free. We can just write it all in free format. So it looks like, you know, JavaScript or PHP or whatever. And now it's gone the other way. Rather than saying free and end free to indicate that it's free, nowadays, of course, we assume it's all this free format. And if it happens to have a C in column six, you can mix in some really old pieces of code. So sometimes when you're looking at an RPG program, you'll see all the free format code written everywhere and you'll see a little bunch of C specs. And that's because someone's just never bothered converting those to free format. They work and they're just too lazy. So you will see that sometimes but we'll get to that when we get to it. So let me delete the original. Here's the exact same program in free format. So let's compile this one. Again, I could go to create bound RPG and type it in my command line, or I can just do a 14 here. I always prompt it up so I can make sure. This is gonna create a program called Hello3 in my library. I know that I'm doing it interactively, so it should take uh, immediate effect. Program Hello3 placed in library and Litten. I'm gonna to go to command entry. I like to call things from command entry. I think it's neat. Hello3. If I press F10 to include detailed messages, that's what this program just did. Now that really couldn't be any easier, right? So we're stepping closer and closer to what modern RPG looks like. So how about we get rid of that slash free statement and we turn it into modern format RPGLE? Let's do that now. <laughs> 